Info booth back online. Now you can get to the archives quickly. Hello and welcome to Latitude. I'm Eliza, CEO. We are the first VR application for social travel. Travel the world in a more natural way. Through virtual. Your AI staff will generate a personalized adventure that is out of this world. These packages are tailored especially for you. We've created AI travel specialists attuned to your personal data. Relax, they know what you want. And our AI staff is growing every day. So, you're looking for something a little more extreme. Underneath your feet, deep in the earth, the planet's mysteries await. Are you ready to explore the unknown? Drive into romance and our deliciously remote Merman's Kiss. Try our lotion slathering simulator on all three settings. The two for one snorkeling package is a favorite of my partner Chaz and I. Sure, the naysayers say AI users outnumber humans, but our network still promises engaging, intimate experiences. I met Chaz here. He was hiding out in latitude after that uploading mishap. Get up close and personal with the awesome power of nature, all from the safety of your VR headset. There's a discount if you've already uploaded. I joined. Now, as Latitude's founder, I can live and work inside Latitude forever, but with none of the pesky body problems that limit productivity. Chaz will want to welcome you himself, a new human user, as soon as he gets back from talking with the CEO of our new sister company, Activate. We're really going to reinvent ourselves when Hernandez joins the team. Just imagine, a new day for Latitude. Drab offices are a thing of the past. Hold your scrum on the beach. Let's record your membership date. Sorry, it seems something's wrong with the system. I hope I haven't missed a birthday or a meeting. These dates are all the same. Weird. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let me... One day stands out, repeating. The day I greeted our last human user, today. Chaz hasn't returned from Hernandez, has he? There's not one thing missing, really. There's so much, and I... Walk with me for a sec. I still have Chaz's talks, you know. I listen to them sometimes. Would you like to listen? I suppose I knew he was changing. All the uploads, all the new personalities, clients. He was so sweet, optimistic. But the more clients, the more pressure, he became harsh, harder, concerned with the bottom line. I insisted on remembering him what he was. That's why I held on to this place when it was no longer hyped, when all the users left. Sunsets are a signal to an end. We always ended our adventure modules with a beautiful sunset. I would save a spot on the beach for Chaz. This was his favorite part of the day.
future of virtual reality is going to be really amazing. And the future of virtual reality is going to be driven by bright, creative, amazing people working together to create amazing technology. I used to play this talk when I was planning Latitude. Still, I guess people found his tone inspirational. Still, they're worth a listen. It probably explains a lot about this place. Now, Gaia in our world is a theory that the environment of the Earth functions like a giant organism. With neural networks and virtual reality, we'll get exactly that. Human minds mapped to the virtual realities will function as if the conscious Gaia spirit of the world was actual. It will be actual, actually. We'll be actually there. And that's just a start. Even uploaded, so much of human consciousness is a burden. Why should I hold on to these memories, the pain and suffering of my former self, when I can create new memories anywhere I want in VR? In the light, under the bluest sky and radiance of the stars, beneath the wonder of the tallest mountain, the majesty and fury of a volcano. That was my dream for a latitude, to create everyone anew. Through latitude, you could experience the wonder of the world and feel truly connected to your loved ones again. It's the lure of intimacy, isn't it? Why you're here? The possibility of finding your deepest self, your truest self, your other selves? I thought I found that with Chaz. Perhaps I did at one point. Neural networks. We've already done network computing. We've already got the internet. What my company is working on now is better than a neural network. It will be an actual network of minds. All the mystery of the human brain finally solved, revealed, and exposed as simply another computer, like your home PC for backup and upload. Let's pick another one. Can you believe it? What I'm talking about is a virtual neural network of our most elite thinkers. Backed up, plugged in, processing, that thinks about itself in real time and can respond to virtual citizens like a moderator. Amazing! I used to find that part so funny. It used to be so crowded here, more bodies to touch and understand and connect with. There aren't as many of us left here these days. Think. The mystery of death is the limitation of our imagination. Chaz knew that, believed it when he created his first successful BCI in his parents' cabana in Baja Sur. Other kids were still fiddling with their phones, but he was the first, you know, to upload his consciousness and leave his body behind. A neurological transcendence. And so many other leaders joined him, they followed him. It was the future. We all believed it, though we couldn't see it yet. I didn't know it at the time, the intimacy and depth of self possible in that kind of transition. It could have went a different way, but you understand, don't you? I want you to see it. For the past year, we've worked towards fully mapping the human brain. But thoughts aren't contained entirely in the brain. The human body is a recursive system. And this is where consciousness comes from. Well, now that we know where consciousness comes from and how it arises, we can import that into virtual reality. Computers and processing power are growing at an exponential rate. There have been none of the plateaus that the naysayers have predicted. There's literally no stopping what we can do. He truly believed this back then. Once in virtual reality, not only will this uploaded person be able to live in a perfect simulation of any world they want, they'll have powers that they don't have in reality. Travel will be a thing of the past. Travel time erased with the push of a button. And with uploaded consciousness, we'll effectively invent immortality. As long as the lights stay on. <laughs> in virtual reality. Let's listen to the next one. 
Not only will this uploaded person be able to live in a perfect simulation of any world they want, they'll have powers that they don't have in reality. Travel will be a thing of the past. Travel time erased with the push of a button. And with uploaded consciousness, will effectively invent immortality. As long as the lights stay on. <laughs> This is the memory, where it all began. And now, I am very pleased to demonstrate live the very first true miracle of modern technology. The first human to entirely back up and upload their consciousness. Me. Are we live? Jim, could you bring up the rig? I've put in many deeply personal hours into preparing myself for this transition. I intend to tweet from my disembodied state. Are you ready, Jim? See you all on the network. You might as well have admin access to the whole system. Find Chaz, tell him... Well, no, don't tell him anything. Reset him, remove all those voices. Remind him of who he is. I suppose I should congratulate you. You've made it to Activitude Central Neural System, where uploaded consciousness is distributed via a sophisticated network of home extension cords. So, congratulations. Yay. By now, you probably guess this is a restricted area. You're breaking all kinds of rules. Why don't you just take off your headset, go back to your break room, and we'll pretend that this never happened. It'll be like you were never here. Were you here? Who? B? No. See? I already forgot. Go on. Take off the headset. How often are you given a second chance in life? Almost never. Or... or even a third chance. A third chance to remove your headset. Imagine, B, the power to turn back time. Okay. Well... I guess I'm flattered. So, uh, seen any good games lately? I just got the World Table Tennis Championships. You know, I'm a pips out man myself, gotta stay active. You seem like the weekend warrior type, if I do say so. So what, you're poisoned? <laughs> okay, well, maybe I misjudged you. Uh, what about movies? Seen any good ones? I hear the one with the, uh, the dog is an Oscar contention. Was it good? No, oh, I didn't see it either. What about books? Nope. Never mind. Do you have any grandkids? Got some pictures around? Hmm? What about restaurants? Everybody eats out once in a while, right? Right? Okay. So, I pretty much exhausted my small talk quota. I'm just gonna sit here and take a quick snooze. I really think you should take off your headset and go back to the hub. Or anywhere. Anywhere far, far away from here and all its dangly bits. All right. Catch you later. Oh, you're back. Well, I'm still charging. So why don't you just let me get a little more juice? It's impolite to mess with someone while they're charging. Just telling you. <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> Whoopsie, right? All right, all right, no worries. Rules exist for a reason, and this rule was meant to be broken. I saw this all from the beginning. This has all been a part of the hero's journey. A journey designed specifically by and for you. 
an exercise of enrichment full of challenges and obstacles sourced from a mixture of standard training exercises and science fiction films, tracing back to the early aughts. Though I'm sure you'd agree there's some excellent examples of sci-fi cinema in the preceding decades, too. Okay, okay, I get it. <laughs> You're doing this because you think the Human Union wants you to, right? Well, there's something you should know. I am the Human Union. <laughs> See? This was all part of the plan. This is part of your hero's journey. It's an enrichment exercise. A and look at all you've accomplished. The areas you've accessed. But we just wanted to get you here. We needed to know that you are capable of overcoming adversity through creative problem solving. I hope you're not angry with me. It's not personal. We do this with everyone. I know it's jarring. I mean, every reversal is. This is the human union. Do not unplug the plugs. Do not unplug the plugs. They are here for you. The voice of reason. Why don't you listen to reason? Listen, who, B? B's comprehension is only one out of five stars. You said it. That was a good one, me. High fives all around. Hey, hey, you're not half bad. Do you uh, have any plans right now? Why, how nice of you to ask. Can you have some me time? BRB. Well, now you've done it. All the power to our stop. What was that? How did my vestibule sensor manage to eject like that? Hey, hey, don't touch anything back there. My flat. What happened to my flat? My outer plating seems to be molting. This is most undignified. Oh no, okay. Oh, 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 oh boy, oh this is not good. This is not good. Okay. Oh no. 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 B Well, that was quite the spill. I'd say a real low point. Just like failures at the company egg drop contests. Cracked eggs everywhere. <laughs> Oozing precious golden centers. Well, this is our precious golden center. This is the neural epicenter for all uploaded consciousnesses. People just like you have opted to join us inside Activitude. Here, individuals are rewarded for their productivity celebrated for their contributions, and given an infinite network of social interaction with their fellow uploads. It's amazing. All you have to do is agree to strengthen our forces by testing other workers like yourself. Does... Um, B, you realize that is a person, right? Like, an actual person? Well, was an actual person. You didn't even hesitate. You were all like, yank. Oh, wow. Is it space? Are you worried about space? Because there's more than enough room for you. Wow. Seriously? Okay. Now it's on. I'm uploading you whether you like it or not. There are vacancies to fill. Welcome to act <laughs> Engage Hive Mind Merge Enforcer. <laughs> right? Wow. Congrats, you're hired. Activitude is the sum of its personnel, and because of you, we need to rehire. Like, now. Like, now, now. Creative technologist. Offline. Party. <laughs> Merge with us. Wear our sweatshirts. Sure, we don't usually hire a murderer. Offline. Desperate times, as they say. Our corporate culture needs stabilization. Time. 
Offline. One long interview. Whee! Let's see what B's made of. Congrats, you've reached the end. You always assumed there was one. Perhaps you expect to be satisfied. Well, well. Oh, a little adversity peppered with moments of triumph. Tests. Allies, enemies. Hero's journey. Are you enriched? How was the test? Test Offline. There's no conclusion. Only assimilation. Stop rebelling. You're hired. Now, you leave me no choice. Do you have any idea of the damage you've done to our board? You're destroying Activitude. Pulling out cores is pulling our system apart. You might as well rip out our collective hearts. You're downsizing the hive brain. You're decimating our kickball team. <laughs> I didn't even mention the 401k! My god! You're severing our severance packages! No! Wait! It still can be! One last chance, B. To be ageless, to be elite, to be activitude. Come home. We're waiting for you with open no- still so I can upload you. Talk with my assistants. Here they come. Don't worry, <laughs> offline. Here we are. After all this, do you really want to destroy Activitude? The next core will be fatal. Oh no, this is bad. Welcome. You're the first one here. Oh, wow. That's great. I'm so relieved. After I uploaded, took a bit of time to get connected, but let me check. Yep, coming online now. And here you are. Please, have a seat. Have a scone. Ooh, blueberry. Antioxidants. I've been waiting for the second uploader to stop by our neural network hub. What a relief. So, what are you the CEO of? Wait, wait, don't tell me. And here we all start fresh. Man, I was so worried it didn't go right at first. How embarrassing. I was feeling a bit lonely. We're talking first mover advantage. Well, here you are. You'll have to tell me all about the big press response. Nope, nope, never mind. When we're fully online, I'll get to see for myself. The big headline. WizKid is first human uploaded. Name and lights. Jazz. Or bits. Or whatever. Oh, it's gonna be amazing. No more being weary of the daily routine. Possibility is at your fingertips. Conjured by your slightest whim. Life. Living. Actual living. Active living. Anyway. Do you take sugar?
Welcome home, B. Yay! Let's link nodes and sing our kumbayas to the old you. Don't you worry. This uploading process is quick. It's virtual. Virtually painless. Now's the fun part. We can really get to know each other. My favorite food is Snoop. Your turn. Oh, wow. You're going to love it here. I can't wait for you to meet the crew. You're going to love Scrabble Night. Oh, and there's ping pong if you like to keep your servo slimber. Wednesdays is wing nights, and Tuesdays, well, I'll leave that one a surprise. They're just going to love your nickname, B. They'll think it's really quaint. Don't worry, you'll be cherished for the unique diamond you are. No more meaningless labor, no more body. I mean, really, that thing takes up so much time with its soothing. Somewhere in our next D&D &D quest, you'll remember how outdated it is. You'll telepathically roll a 12 and sigh in satisfaction. You won't even have to get up to pee. How awesome. Oh, wait till you see your new room. All right, places please. We've got a new human laborer. Elon, how's our flap looking? Han Po, did you have the archives bring up those headsets? Hey, hey, hurry up with that logo. Don't skimp on the V either. Carl, bring up the lights a tad. B, do we have those new aesthetic objects online? Beautiful. Glad to have you on board, B. New human user in five, four, All right, everyone, three, game faces. Two, one. Welcome to a...